dead man on this thing. That proper hurt. What is good you guys? It's your boy, Kid Ginger Vlogs, back again. And I'm back with a vlog this week. Now last week didn't go quite to plan. I know I said we were gonna have my dad round, my sister round, have a few drinks and everything, and just spend a bit of time together. That didn't happen in the end because we called my dad and he had already been drinking. But also, in order to get him or bring him down, one of us has to drive like out of the way, whether it's myself or my sister, to go pick him up and bring him down. Because I live one end of town, she lives the other, and he lives like kind of in the middle out the way. So it's kind of, it puts one of us out either way, whichever one of us gets him or picks him up, it puts one of us out the way to go and get him. But my mum decided to give him a phone call when she was uh, on the way back to the house and said basically, are you coming up? Like get a taxi or something if you can't make it. And he decided like in the end, he wasn't gonna come up because he'd been drinking already in the afternoon. And it was about seven o'clock at night at this time when we found out that he wasn't coming. But my sister ended up coming up anyway. We still had a good time, still chilled out. But like I say, it's it puts one of us out the way, whoever goes and picks him up, whether it's her, whether it's me, because we have to go one way and then right out and then back in if we're going to one of one of the other's house. So if I'm going to her house, it'll put me out the way. If she's coming to my house, it'll put her out the way. And it's just literally, it's just one of those things. But sometimes like we have to get a taxi somewhere or she has to get a taxi somewhere or I have to get a taxi. It don't really matter who gets a taxi where, but half the time, basically I'll put one of us out of the way. And it was kind of in my eyes, like, I don't know if it was like an excuse or not. It may have been an excuse, I don't know. He may have not been drinking, he may have been drinking, I don't know, because he does drink. So for myself, it could have been anything. It could have been the truth, I don't know. But he, he didn't make it, he didn't come down in the end, which is okay, you know, we still had a good time regardless, the ones that came. Still like had a laugh and everything like that, had a couple of drinks and everything. So it was still a good night in the end, regardless of the situation. But either way, we managed to make the most of it. So going on from that, this week, I'm just, like I say, updating the channel from what happened. Because I'm trying to get back into the, the flow of my vlogs, basically. I stopped doing them weekly because I couldn't find the time to do them. But I'm trying to fit them in where I can and when I can. So if, if it means me getting like the ability or being able to get a vlog in on the way to work or during work or on the way back from work, whatever it is. I'll just fit a video in and I'll try and get it in. Like, I don't wanna make it the be all and end all of like rushing a vlog because it ain't the way to do the vlogs and I don't like to do that. I don't like to just quickly make a vlog because a vlog doesn't take five, 10 minutes. A vlog's like the whole day, like you spend your whole day making the vlog. Like you do something different each each part of the day and you just vlog it. That's, that's my idea of a vlog anyway. I don't wanna just sit there and go, this is what I did with my day like a diary. I'd rather do the things and then put them together in a compilation on the video. But um, I'm guessing, like, you know, with the situation last weekend, you, you would have seen on that vlog anyway, I made the most of it and we still made it into a vlog for the day. Like I said, we, we were gonna have him down and around, but like I say, not everything can always go to plan when you're working or when you're not working or when you plan your weekends, so I'm not gonna say, oh, never say never. Like, me and my dad had a good relationship growing up. I mean, I didn't see him as much, but going back to that, we did have a good relationship growing up. I didn't see him as much as I'd like to, but it is in the circumstances how the things went, how the situation was handled. And on top of that, like when we see him, or when I see him, when he comes around, it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice time, you know, I get to see him, my mum gets to see him, my sister, every, we all get to see whoever, you know, and it's nice to actually have the relationship that could have been there still be there, regardless of what it was like growing up. We've still got that relationship, all of us as a family, like, you know, there's no hatred, like, there's no, why weren't you here? Why, why did you do this? Why did you do that? There's none of that from me. There's no animosity because I don't get people that just fall out of people. Like, I've had it growing up my whole life, like, people just falling out of each other over nothing as well, like, literally nothing. But regardless of the situation, regardless of the scenario, 
how it is. Like, it still works out well. We still have the relationship. We still we still get on. We still have a laugh. Like, I've seen him a couple of times in the last month when he's popped up. And it is, it's who he is, you know? He just comes, he comes and goes. But I, I don't, like, make my time just like, I'm gonna do this for that week. I'm gonna do this for that week. I'm not gonna just provide my time. If I'm not available, I'm not available. But if, if I end up catching him when he's here or ca he catches me when I'm there, like if he just comes around and visits my mum, says hello or whatever, it, it is how it is. And that's how that's how we get on, basically. That's how we, we go through all this. Against him personally, my biological dad, there's nothing, there's no hard feelings. It's not his fault things were the way they were. And like I say, he used to visit when he visited. It's not my fault like for the reasons or whatever surrounding that it's nothing to do with me i was the kid back then but like i say that was the reason as well what i said earlier he didn't come up he had already been drinking so i still made the most of my night i had my beers i had my chill out with my sister with her husband with my mom we still had a good time and you know when you're having a good time because you say to yourself i'm going in a minute and then that going in a minute turns into another hour, another minute, another, 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 and it, it just goes on and on and on. And that's what I like, you know, when you can have a good time and, you, and you're saying to yourself, I'm going in a minute, and then you don't end up going in a minute, you end up going later than you expected. That's that's when you know you're having a good time, having a laugh with people. And that's, that's what it's about with family. You're just meant to have a good time, enjoy yourself and be there. So that was the weekend. I'm on my way to work now, I'm nearly there. I'm going to cut back in later on and we'll finish the rest of the vlog off, guys. Hit my head, man, on this thing. That proper hurt. So, I'm at work, as you can see, from this morning where I hit my head on that racking. Proper smacked it, like, proper bruised me. My glasses as well, look. See on the side there? Yeah, you can see it, right there. That when I recorded that after. I had to record that, like, I don't know why I recorded it, to be honest, but that hurt so much, man. Proper smacked my head off the racking. They were like, next to each other, there's two rackings. There were just a little tiny bit of difference in the height of them, but I walked straight into the other one. I was looking forward, I ducked, and then I stood up a bit more, and then whack, as you can tell by the bruise on my head. That's gonna bruise tomorrow. I can guarantee I'm gonna get a bruise off that tomorrow, because I can feel the pain there now right underneath it. I was looking as well. I was looking where I was going and then I stood up and boom. Knocked my glasses off, knocked my head off and knocked me for 10. Hello, how are you doing? You okay, mate? Hey, hello. Back home now. So that is it guys, we're back. I've hit my head. We've had a good day at work. We've managed to finish the rest of the day. I'm back home now. I'm going to eat my dinner, I'm going to get a shower, I'm going to chill out for the rest of the day. It's not a long one today, just a small vlog, but it's been your boy, Kid Ginger Vlogs. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next vlog. Peace. Peace.